We live in an age um, of some appropriate skepticism about what faith is about. And um, you can talk to me all day long about what you think about God, but um, at the end of the day, my question is, show me how you live. And what does that mean for the way you, you live your life and you spend your money and you interact with the people around you? Christianity in general has got the great gift of following a homeless savior. Um, we believe in that God became flesh um, and was given birth to a unwed homeless mother and, um, and a man who went on to live a largely homeless life. Um, so we've got this powerful model of um, the fact that God chooses not only to become one of us, but to become the most vulnerable among us. And that if we're going to encounter God, we're going to encounter God in the most vulnerable, marginalized places in our society. I would argue that almost nothing happens in our city to solve the needs of poverty that has not come out of the religious community. Um, every, if you look at every powerful organization that our city has to offer um, that, ha that deals in constructive ways with ending poverty, um, even if they're not at this point explicitly religious, um, they all come out of a religious heritage. So whether that's Bread for the City, or Community for Creative Nonviolence, or So Others Might Eat, or Martha's Table, or um, any of the, the great organizations that have shaped our city, um, they all come out of the faith community. And um, I think that's a very powerful testimony to what we're about um, and to what our common call is.